I'm Alex, and today we're making an Easter egg soap on, because in four to six weeks, the time that it'll, t it'll take to cure, it will be ready, and that's like about Easter at Easter time, so the soap looks like an Easter egg. Well, first we have to suit up for safety by putting on my gloves, and you will see my mother in the video helping me a lot. First, we'll have to measure out our line. Okay. Or sodium hydroxide. Yeah. How much do you need? We need how many grams? 145 grams. 145 grams. 330. Okay, so now we have to take our lye, add it to the water. Look at that temperature. Okay, so we're gonna add the solid oils, not the liquid oils yet, because we have to like melt these down, I think. Mm -hmm. So we have our palm kernel flakes, and I don't know how much we're using yet. But, and then we also have our shea butter. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our coconut oil. Oil, our um, solid oils are all melted right now. And, well, I forgot to tell you earlier, but um, this recipe is has ingredients that will make lots of lathers and lathers bubbles. So, I'm excited about that. That's sort of why my mom wrote me this recipe so I could make it. So first we're gonna add rice rind oil, and then some castor oil but she's to get onto that bottle. Um, and then some olive oil. You can find this at, at any store. Uh, main color is green from uh, brambleberry.com. Kermit green mica, you mean? Kermit green mica. And, but we have to add a little bit of oil to each one of these. So you only need a little bit. Stop. 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 Okay, just to mix your colors. And then you're gonna mix them up first. We're using our mini mixer, or you can use a latte throffer. Throffer. Frother. Frother. Okay, so our lye and our oils are within 10 degrees of each other, which is pretty good. Okay, so this it's the next morning and we just we the loaf looks awesome, but the orange, so you knew how there was orange. Now that turned to yellow because of the HP level. PH. PH level, sorry. But we're gonna cut it now. Move it a little closer to the cutter. About one inch bars, about. And you gotta hold it real tight because we don't have a fancy cutter. Not exactly, but about. Don't let it move, don't let it move, don't let it move, don't let it move, you're getting... There you go. That's pretty good. That's really wavy, but that's okay. Here. So, looks pretty nice. I'm just going to show you the back side, not the other side. The top looks really nice. 